Look at that. Do <laughs> you see that? Wait. We would like to offer you a $5,000 uh, Aussie. That's uh, amazing. It, it really will make a huge difference. You know, just just a kookaburra, just just chilling there. Day three in Australia. Day three. There's Ryan using the TV as a mirror. I'm not bugging. <laughs> there's Priscilla making a post, and there's Nathan out there being a bugin. She's taking it down just for you, just for the video. What a G. Thanks, man. All right, we're doing flying foxes now. We are here at a flying fox sanctuary, and we're gonna some, come see these flying foxes, which are bats. And some of these bats are unreleasable and uh, are being well cared for. Um, but there's also many bats coming in that are injured and suffering, and these great people are here working really hard to protect them and keep them healthy. So it's really, really cool. We're gonna check them out, kind of see what kind of work they're doing, seeing what can further be done and how, you know, donating to them would benefit them. She is tubby. She is Look at that. Cat's taken away. She's licking it. What do you do? What do you do? You let it take it, I guess. Look at this. Look. Just, just a flying fox right above me. Apparently they like hats. Huh. You like hats. These are just some of the animals. Just getting to see them. And these poor guys are going through a lot. It really will make a huge difference. Well, there's a water dragon right there. And I could get a good photo here if I would have put a battery in my camera. Gosh dang it, dude. That thing was huge. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Can you tell me? Yep. Look at that! Oh, I bashed my knee so hard. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy, look at that. I, I have no idea what skink this is. Dove over a fence and down a tree and broke myself again, but he's got a really cool yellow belly, smooth all the way up and down, including his back. Super smooth and super cool. Not sure what he is, but we're gonna we're gonna give Shaylee a go and let her hold it. Don't drop it. You held a lace monitor. Oh, I guess. This is like nothing. You should name it, and then we'll see if people liked it. See if they'll criticize. Jimothy. Critic what? Jimothy. Jimothy? Okay. You can call him Jim. Jim for short. We renamed it the Jimothy Skink. Yep. Sweet. Hi, dude. Oh, look. Yeah. Like and he's names. missing a ton of toes and stuff. In the wild. Yeah. In. Yeah, look at that. He's got that lesion. Yeah. That's a. Man. That's a. Uh, that's yeah, probably like a bite. Ticks. You see the ticks? Oh yeah. Wow. Those are. A lot of ticks. Very big. Movie. I'm gonna put him down closer to. Away from cars this time, maybe. If it runs to you, I guess that they're just attracted to you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Not again. <laughs> Dang. All right, you can't really see me like at all. Try not to run into a tree right now. Yeah, we're out here in Australia in the forest at night. 
looking for any nocturnal species, really hoping for a python, but anything would be cool because we got time, because it's 11 o'clock at night. We don't have anything else going on. So we're walking, seeing if we can get anything. Whoa, he screamed. We were walking through here. We're looking for pythons right now, or pythons, mm -hmm. as everybody's saying. And because uh, we have time to do a little bit of herping because it's late, mm -hmm. it's like 11 o'clock at night, but we got to take advantage of what we're doing here. And I'm excited about this gecko because the tail, like the tail is personally the coolest part to me. Yeah. Um, all the geckos we have in Arizona are just very basic. I love to like, when doing these videos, to tell you all about the animal, but I didn't even really know this animal existed till now. So, I'm just letting you enjoy that moment with me. I don't really have anything else to say other than look at the cool gecko. That tail is so weird, he's got like flaps. Right there, right there. That is so crazy. All right, I don't know how the heck this he gets so cool. Right there. Here, I can't get over how cool it is. It's a little pokey. Oh my gosh! Wild. Look at this. This so. is an echidna. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! This is crazy. I can't even like. Oh, he's very pokey. Look at look at his little nose. These guys are toothless. <laughs> Ah, 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 okay. So this Got is- to worry He's about out no, of there. No teeth whatsoever. Dr. Driggers, we were walking, we we're looking for pythons. As you saw, we found that really, really cool gecko, but I gotta say this topped it by like a thousand percent. He yelled echidna and look at his face. Look, his face is exposed. I'm putting my face really close to these quills, these spines. They're actually not really that bad, but it's enough that it would prevent a predator from coming and munching on this guy. Obviously, she's fine. We are not hurting her in any way. She is just out foraging here in the Australian forest. And I could not be more excited about this animal, honestly. I mean, look at its back. Look at this thing. This doesn't seem real. Look at his face. You see that? Look at the cute little eyes. Look at his little eyes. I am so stoked. This is so crazy. One of uh, the five toothless mammals in the world. This is an echidna. It's a little female. Females don't have tarsal spurs. What, what an edentate is, is it lacks teeth. And it's got about an 18 inch long tongue that shoots out into uh, some nice termite burrows and ant mounds. And uh, it has a really, really sticky tongue. So she is very cool. Uh, she was minding her own business tonight digging in some dirt. The claws are, in, are form and function specifically meant to dig down into the dirt and rip into, into mounds. And uh, she was doing her thing. So extremely exciting to be able to find one of these. Absolutely. They are porcupine-esque in their function of how these quills work. Um, there's actually been some of these found in the uh, fires that the quills, when they burn and heat up, actually look like they're flat top on them. So they protect them uh, by all this uh, sp spurs as well. This coast, echidna. Oh yeah. Oh, no. Right through the sticky wicket. Oh boy. <laughs> it's starting. We've been oh, here two days. <laughs> We've been here two days and it's starting. It started on the plane. <laughs> Gorgeous animal. All right, we're gonna leave her. Let her go to her own business. Look at, look at all these mosquitoes. It's so bad. Good night, sweet. Sweet lady. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. All right, we're walking away from it. We're gonna go try to find some pipe pythons, maybe. If the mosquitoes slow down. All right, I'm out of here, dude. This is so bad. <laughs> this is really thick. So bad. All right, guys, we got an echidna, which was crazy. Like, that's mind-blowing. An echidna. An echidna. Well, not echidna. Not, not echidna. Not echidna. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Peace. Flat surgery. So Shaylee so, had this on her leg. Um, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll take, uh, Look at it, it's a little leech. He just wants to suck on them. Where'd it go? It's right there. He hooked on so fast. <laughs> you bite your finger. Right? I know, but he has stayed hanging on. <laughs> Jeez, man. They, they can just get you. <laughs> That was kind of scary. Exactly. That was scarier than anything I've done today. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, people. <laughs>